Commando. All right, so do you remember the Capcom mascot? Captain Commando was this mascot for Capcom that they only used for a short while, like between 86 and 89. Um, then they put him in this arcade game, which we're about to play, which was in 91. And then I think that was ported to Super Nintendo in like 95, I'm going to say. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the date. Okay. okay. And then later he appeared in... Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, which was like uh, late 90s, I think. I remember him in the instruction manual of Ghosts and Goblins. That's when I first saw him. Ghosts and Goblins was the first Nintendo game I owned on top of Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, which were uh, packaged with the NES, which I sure. got on my birthday. But I got Ghosts and Goblins also separately the same day. So Ghosts and Goblins, I'll always remember with that guy on it. And uh, also, I'm holding the box to Ghosts and Goblins in my hand right now. And uh, on the back of it, you can see Captain Commando. It says that the game is part of the Captain Commando Challenge series. So it was like a select package of Capcom games. Like it was this. I think it was also um, uh, Mega Man, DuckTales, you know, like all that type of stuff. He was also on the instruction manual for Ghost and Goblins. Do you have the instruction manual? Actually, I do, but it's... <laughs> It's this okay. You want to get into that? I have this the same instruction manual from Ghosts and Goblins, but it's really beat up, like it's completely torn, and that's just because I've had it for wow over 30 years now. I also duct taped all my instruction manuals together back then. I know I've that's seen just, it before. It's funny. You, you you've seen it, it. yeah. So I still have it, and I, I recently uh, found it again because I was cleaning up uh, my drawers of instruction manuals and stuff. So. This thing is just a mess. It's I just duct taped all my manuals together because that's what I did as a kid. Um, because I guess I didn't want to have to like, I don't know, like find them all. For some reason, I just thought it was cool to make one big book out of it. You know what's also funny is that I had the... <laughs> There's also parts where I, I added an enemy into the... You know where it tells you all the, the enemies in the game? Yeah. There, there's a part where I added an enemy. Uh, <laughs> you, did, you, did you draw your own enemy? Yeah, I drew it, but I don't know why it's so different. Cause, okay, there's a raven in the game, but I guess I found a bird that was like the raven, but it had a slight difference, so I called it the firebird. And all I wrote is, it chirps in the air and flies to you. You must defeat it. it it's a very important that you added that to the manual. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what the point was, because it was probably just the raven. It was probably the same thing, but I think there's one that's like red whereas the raven was like a dark blue or something anyway i mean this is very nostalgic that i'm holding this it has my name in it and everything uh it's i i, I just found something i tried to draw a map of the game and it makes no sense at all and then there's something where i wrote legend like you know how there'd be like the key the legend and it's yeah. it's scribbled out so whatever i tried to draw just got <laughs> now there's like a weird picture of a devil that was also scribbled out and then I wrote Red Devil, Unicorn, Big Man's, Unicorns. I have no idea what the hell I was trying to write. A special message from Captain Commando. Thank you for selecting Fun-Filled Gunsmoke, one of the exclusive Nintendo Entertainment System video games from the Captain Commando Challenge series. Gunsmoke, created by Capcom, premier worldwide arcade game designer, features colorful, state-of-the-art, high-resolution graphics. The high-quality game pack is licensed by Nintendo. So he doesn't really say much, but the idea was he was kind of like the, the spokesperson for Capcom. Yeah, so he, he's basically kind of been like this forgotten mascot, and I always wondered, ever since I, I had Ghosts and Goblins in that instruction manual, I always wondered what was the point of that guy. Like, And I always... I always wish that there was a game of Captain Commando, and then what do you know? Here it is. And this kind of blew my mind in a way, where it kind of brought closure on my childhood to actually play a game with Captain Commando. Oh, for the yeah, first it, was, time. it was an arcade game. Yeah. Yeah. So they were just so trying anyway. to push the character. I think they wanted a. I think Capcom just wanted a mascot, and that's what they came up with, Captain Commando. And I think it just must not have really stuck because what happened, of course, is that later on, uh, you know, they came out with Mega Man, and Mega Man yeah. I think really became kind of the mascot for Capcom. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Mega Man definitely became. You think Capcom? What do you, you think? Street Fighter, and you think Mega Man? Yeah. yeah. So. Um, Mega Man and Street Fighter outshined 
poor old Captain Commando. But we're gonna check out his arcade game right here, right now. All right, so there's different characters you can select. So I'm, I'm gonna right off the bat, I wanna be the baby because the baby is the funniest character. Yeah, so you're a baby in a mech suit. Yeah, look, I'm at, glad look at you. That. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that because I wouldn't have guessed. I would have just thought it was like, you know, like that's it, that's his body. Like I would have just thought that's like Mr. Freeze or something. But the fact you point out that's a baby, that's actually really funny. It's like in, um, you know, in Mega Man X, you know, like Mega Man can get into like the, the mech suits. That makes more sense. Like, you know, you play that and you're like, okay, that that's cool. Like makes sense. Mega Man's in a mech. But to, to think about a little baby that looks like something out of like a comic strip. Look at that mech suit, by the way. Oh yeah, and you can get into like the mech suits. Um, you, actually, you you might be able to get into that. Try to get. Oh, into okay, it. yeah. It's hard to see. There you go. Wow, wow. How do you like my mech suit now? It can be hard, like later. So in, <laughs> later in the game, it, it can be hard to get into the mech suits because you're getting attacked by so many enemies, and then, then I think they like disappear like quickly. So, um, so it basically uh, what I'm trying to say is enjoy it while it lasts because it. Okay. They come you later, know, but they can be hard to get. Okay, you know what? So if you got in that, would you be in a mech suit in a mech suit? Oh my god, let me try. You it. gotta do it. You gotta do it. How do you? Oh fuck! I didn't know how to get in it. So you ended up blowing it up. I think I punched it and blew it up. I didn't know how to get in it. I forget what I did. I think I just jumped in it. That was classic Capcom right there. They always have somebody getting electrocuted where you can see the skeleton inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Street Fighter. You're right. Oh, and the fight! I was just gonna say that all we need is to see somebody flaming, and it just happened. <laughs> oh, wow. so one of the things that's actually really cool about this game—they're always dropping um, items. So, like right there, you just got it, like a rocket launcher or something like that. That's yeah, one of the like, things. Well, I, ah! oh, I had it for look, one. Look at that map! Look how cool that map is. Yeah, it kind of looks like the Final Fight map or Ghosts and Goblins. They they always have the the Capcom always had the maps. Yeah. You know what would be a great series or, or something? Like, I would like to do a video about um, what are the similarity, what are the trademarks of every, uh, like, game software developer, you know? What do you mean you exactly? Know, one, well, I mean, like, let's say, like, Sunsoft games. Like, you notice a lot of similarities with those games is that, like, take Blaster Master, Fester's Quest, uh, Batman. Like, those yeah. games are all really hard. Like, they have a certain type of difficulty. Right. And um, they also have like a certain style of music where like, like Sunsoft games have some of the best NES music. Konami would always include like Easter Island heads. And another thing is that in Blaster Master, you know like the top down view when you're walking around? That's like the the top down view in Fester's Quest. Like the way he walks is almost like it's almost like they it, it's the same sprite as Fester but but changed in, into like a like a spacesuit. Very Fester's Quest like. Yeah. And the sound effects, also, like, th when you blast things, it's the same sound effects as when, like, Fester is shooting something. I think Sega so. games had a lot of that, um, you know, like, a Se Sega games always feel like a Sega game. Yeah. You know, they got the Sega music, so yeah, that's actually a great topic, like, you know, tr traits of companies. Like, you can tell when it's a Capcom game, you can tell when it's a Konami game, in a lot of ways. Like, you could, you could probably guess what company developed the game just by you know just by playing through the game it, even if, like if you even if you weren't told if you couldn't see the uh you know oh by the way look look at this guy's name not to cut you off but look at the dude's name oh it looks like shitstorm yeah it's shitstorm shitstorm jr it just looks like shitstorm but they couldn't fit it but yeah do you, got, do you got any more like trademark I, like things oh yeah yeah, I mean, you can go through any of them. You go through Capcom, Konami, Sunsoft, um, uh... LJN. Yeah, L oh, definitely, definitely that one. But, uh, uh, there's also the one that, well, the one that did BART versus the Space Mutants. Uh, what was that? Acclaim? Uh, was that Acclaim? That, Maybe. that one, uh, recycled the sound effects, like, in, uh, like, Home Alone 2, I think. Yeah. So, oh, oh, there's also Ocean. Ocean, yeah, yeah. Titus? Oh, t yeah, Titus? Are they like the LJN of Nintendo 64? They are. <laughs> that's, the best, that's the best way to put it. Yeah, but like, like, look at these guys. They look like they're from Final Fight. 
the they guys do, with the yeah. knives. Man, I want to make that video now. I hate it when that happens. I'm like, oh man, that that would be so cool to do that. I can literally like, hear the gears turning in your head right now. Cause you got yeah, you got quiet I mean, for a second, and I could <laughs> tell that you were thinking about the. What's going on now? Hold on a second. You gotta Where rejoin, I? I guess. Oh shit! You're the ninja. Ready? Wait, did did you hear the music, real? I think they were just playing the the music from Ninja Gaiden. Well, that... not now, but it, it they, they were just playing it like right before this part. Okay. I could I could be wrong because my volume's down kind of low. We'll we'll, we'll, but... we'll replay the we'll replay the music and see if you're right. I mean, it might have been like a similar uh, thing because that was uh, was that Tecmo or I think uh, that was yeah, that was like Tecmo. So it wasn't Capcom, but uh, it's not the it's not the opening the part right after when the they they slash with the swords like after he falls and it and it does that like sad mu music like okay. that that's the music I think I was hearing because we are on a ninja stage so it's possible it probably it probably just is something that sounds kind of similar because it's kind of ninja type music I would think. Cause yeah, what year? Cause like, what year was this game that we're playing? Not ninety-one. Oh Jesus, this is ninety-one. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that definitely could be them just like uh, being like, hey, let's throw in a little nod to Ninja Guy, and that, that's totally possible then. And, and also like uh, the, the ninja in Ninja Guy, his name is uh, Ryu, which is you know a Street Fighter character. So I I always had like debates on whether it was the same. Ryu, or can I just say Ryu? It's, it's, I've been trying to do that for so long. Just fucking say Ryu. By the way, I, everybody I, I, said I, Ryu. I want to point out before you miss it. Um, Ryu. Once, a, once in a while, you should check out like the sprites because this game is actually really violent. Like you'll like rip people to shreds in this, and there's blood and shit. This game's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's why I wanted to show it to you because um, I've played all the Capcom games before a long time ago. Oh, you just got cut in half. I did a video on all the Capcom beat 'em ups like a long time ago. Um, and so I played through literally every single Capcom beat em up, and this was one of the better ones. And it's convenient with those because you can just pop in quarters, you know, to <laughs> you know be able to beat the game. And that, that's that's what I did. I, I'm not like I didn't one credit the games or anything like that. But I remember liking this one a lot because the the baby made me laugh. But it's got gore. Uh -huh. It's got it's gorier than most of them. Um, and also. Really, the the thing that made this one the most interesting to me was all, all the items that you can collect as you go through. Because when you play a ton of beat em ups, you it starts to get very like redundant. So you're then you're looking mm -hmm. for then you're looking for like what makes this game stand out. And this one did. This one did stand out. This was one of the better ones. Boy, that guy didn't stand a chance. <laughs> nah, he's done. <laughs> can we hit each other? We can't, right? I I don't think so. I'm gonna try that. I like the star transition too. It's kind of cool. Yeah, no, we, we can't, can't hit each other. Thank God. I think we would have known by now, but. Oh, wait, look. So this might be my next opportunity to. How do you get in the mech? Uh, I, I, I'm trying to do it again. And I, I just jumped in it. So if you just want to jump okay. on the top of it. I'm trying to. There's so much going on, and they're hard to get in. Here, here. Yeah, oh. I don't know. I feel there like you go. Jumping out. Yeah, just jump right in the middle of it. Ugh, I'm trying. I'm just getting Yeah, there's filled. too many guys. They're just, like, not giving you a chance. All right, try now. I'm, like, I'm not, not even here. Oh, I'm in it. Look. You're in, you're in a mech, in a mech. Mech in a mech. Oh. Now, this is awesome. Yeah. And to think it's just, a, like, a little infant. What, what would a yeah. little baby think of this? <laughs> <laughs> what is that little baby thinking? Yeah. You know what he looks like? He looks like a Popeye, like like sweet pea or something he does yeah it's been a long time since i watched any popeye cartoons but i was i actually just put on a couple of them because i wanted to show my kids who popeye was yeah. um because uh I, we, we were talking about boomerang in one of the other videos and uh popeye is one of the shows on boomerang do they have the black and white cartoons they do yeah that's good because later oh, on when uh with the paramount popeyes because the early ones are fleischer um 
the, later on they made like the Popeye cartoons in color, but the the really yeah. good ones are they're black and white. You know cartoons. what? The, it's really sad to say, but it's harder to get your kids to watch something that's in black and white. Like it's not impossible. It's just like you know, it, the, it's the way the world is. Like most people, like they see something black and white, they're just like, ah, oh, like what's this? You know? Right. The the black and so, white Popeye I, cartoons are better than the color ones. Mm -hmm. Except for well, there's there's some exceptions. There's a really good color Popeye that's uh, like the Sinbad the Sailor one. Who's the most phenomenal, extra special kind of fellow? Ah! I'm gonna try one of these other characters. Oh shit. Yeah. Exactly. Well, okay, now I'm Captain Commando. Look at look at who you are. Yeah. Who the hell? I'm like this, like, I don't know, crocodile dundee type guy. Yeah, it's weird, right? And your guy has like a spin, I guess? Yeah, if I do like oop, I was gonna do it. Yeah, like that. Oh, what does this remind you of? This is totally like Turtles in Time. Or uh actually I believe be, to be accurate, probably the Manhattan Project did this too. Yeah, I, they all fucking did that, I think. Yeah, yeah. Every turtle game had a sewer uh, or a surfing uh, level. Yeah, which sometimes was in the sewer. The Ninja Turtles coined the term "sewer surfing." Sewer surfing. I don't think that term could have ever existed without Ninja Turtles. Like, in what context could you have ever said sewer surfing? Have you watched any of the toys that made us? Yeah, um, I I did um. I, I watched, well, actually, I watched the movies that made us first. Um, I didn't watch all of them, because you know what? I, I mean, I saw some of the toys that made us, and I saw most of the movies that made us, but I think it's just too rapid-paced. Like, it, it's almost like they think that, like, the viewer doesn't have any attention span, so they have to, like, make everything, like, every two seconds, there's, like, a dumb joke, and it just, just chill. Just slow down. Uh, well, can... you know what though? It's 2020. Uh, most people don't have an attention span anymore, so that's why they do that. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot of things that are a yeah. shame. I would rather it just be like straightforward documentary. I mean, yeah, it could still be entertaining. It could still have jokes, but it was just too much. It's like, all right, slow down. It's like, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I still recommend it. I'm glad they made it, but it, it's just it's not my style of uh, of uh, tone. Hey, Mike, we're playing Captain Commando right now on the arcade. And, you know, it's just like that kind of thing. We're just really high energy all the time. That's because people are used to, like, how a lot of people are on YouTube, where it's just screaming in your fucking face. Yeah. I mean, I've done my share of screaming in your face, it's I guess. Different. But... It's different. Yeah. It's different. <laughs> it's not the same thing. <laughs> but I, I know what you mean. It's like everything's always got to be, like, like, high energy and, you know... Keep yeah. keep it entertaining. It's By the way, can we talk about how we're guilty of that too? Because we we'll we do. We'll, we've totally done that too. Yeah, we we've done it too. Yeah, I don't think we do it that much, but we do. Like to, to that extent. I, that I, th I think what you're us. saying is like there, there there there's like a limit to how much of that shit you can take. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you do a little bit here and there, but it's like when it's just constant, it's like a bombardment of like images. It's like yeah, it was too much. Fuck yeah, down with the fucking <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's like like a like like just like machine gun memes just flying every second, you know. It's it's too much. It's just like at a certain point, you just gotta slow the fuck down. It's like you can have them, but like ch like not that much. It's like come on. <laughs> like you're anyway, going, you're going so I still like board with the memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, Toys That Made Us, a good show, but I think it could it could calm the fuck down. I was actually, well, where I was going with it originally was, because we were talking about Ninja Turtles, and I was going to say, yeah. like, that episode I thought was actually really good, because it gets, like, Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman together again, like, after a long time, and I actually kind of, it was kind of heartwarming, actually. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like, I don't want to take away from any of that. I think it just had to be said. I mean, it, I mean I've heard nothing but good things about it, so I think it's a great show, but... But it just had to be said, that's my complaint. Like, if I'm just gonna raise one complaint about it, that's what it is. Why do you always gotta say something negative? Why can't you say Why something Why do positive? I always gotta say something negative? Why I can't don't know. It? See, you were just complaining about that before, how it always has to be fucking negative, and that yeah. means you are doing it. Yep, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I like your response, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
the, the view count definitely shows. Whenever I do something negative, it gets a lot of views. That's what people then, like. People people like drama yeah. and people like fucking like complaining and bitching and moaning. That's why yeah, fucking yeah. you know it's bullshit is popular and that's why AB yeah. Dan's popular because people want to see people fucking rip on something because everybody yeah. likes negativity. And, and it was proven by like you know I did a batch of these uh, like movie reviews that I do like uh, solo just by on my own and uh, I did a, a glowing positive review of the Maltese Falcon I'm like this is one of the great classics and <laughs> nobody cares <laughs> first of all going back it's black and white so probably nobody yeah. cares but I, uh, th what did it get I, got, I think it got like last I saw it was like 40,000 views or something okay so it's like all right you know what I expected and then the next week I did top 10 reasons blu-ray sucks yeah and then it got like 400,000 views yeah and I'm like there you go you want me to be negative okay that's what they want that's what they want <laughs> I mean, what do you want? You want somebody to be like, gee whiz, everything's fucking great. Like, what do you yeah, want? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, I want to hear somebody <laughs> bitch and moan about how everything fucking sucks. Yeah. By the way, I if you'd like weird. to see that, come to my Twitch channel, because that's all I do. <laughs> I bitch and moan <laughs> like a fucking baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we even said this in another video, but we're like, we should just do a show... Uh, we, we should do a video. The title of the video will be Pissed Sucks Horrible. There you go. That, that'll that get some views. And what would it be about anyway? Uh, everything and anything. It should be about everything that sucks. Can you name something that sucks? What sucks, James? Uh, way too many things. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't uh, suck? What doesn't suck? This is a good, good beat em up here. Nothing, um like out of the ordinary but it's it's pretty good like if i were playing this in arcade back in 91 this would be this would be the bomb you know how this game would be better if if we were actually playing it in arcade with four people or i guess it was four people it, maybe it was only three players it looks like i guess it, this was a three player arcade machine i guess oh you're right yeah that, that looks like it by the way these oil drums they suck or you want something that sucks there you go it's like an X-Men factory back there. They're building like Sentinels and shit. Yo, have you watched X-Men cartoon? Oh, not, not enough. I haven't watched a lot of it. It's pretty good. It, like I said, that was like my blind spot. It was 90s animation. I, I think I was just too busy watching horror films. So I, I missed out on everything. Everything that was animated, I missed out on that. But you've been catching up with some stuff. I've been catching up. Like, I finally got to see Ren and Stimpy and loved it. Didn't you watch some of the uh, Batman animated, finally? I uh, watched, yeah, all of it. All of the, the first uh, series of it. Um, that's a great show. Uh, I've been trying to watch a little more, like, Animaniacs, but I haven't uh, caught up as much. There's um, a good Animaniacs game on the Sega Genesis that would be cool if we did okay. sometime. Yeah, Anim Animaniacs, I, I was blown away by how many references there are to things that nobody references anymore. It might have been like the last, uh, like the last generation to reference like Orson Welles and, you know, stuff like that. I feel like that the animators that worked on that, they were like fans of like Looney Tunes and stuff. So they, they, it was probably, it was probably that, yeah, it was that last generation getting that in. That's a, that's a great, uh, you know, way, way to put yeah. it. Yeah. Like, they, they would make, like, a, a spoof of Citizen Kane or something, and, and I'm like, obviously this is um, coming from people who would pass this down, but at a certain point, they just stopped passing things like that down, and it seems like now, you know, we, we were talking about another video that Looney Tunes is not uh, as well known now as it was, and it's a shame. Yeah. It's like something, because even Looney Tunes had a long run when you think about it, that they were playing those in, in the theaters, like in the, you know, Well, it started in 40s. the fucking 30s to the, uh, to the 60s, so yeah, it had yeah. a very long run. Yeah, so the fact that they were even rerunning it on TV in the 80s, when, and even like into the 90s when we were like, you know... They were I mean, just I part of the we culture. Were, it was. I mean, I guess we were watching it more like in the 80s, but... It seemed like the 90s was like the last breath for all that stuff, and then eventually it just stopped getting past that. And like I clarified, it's like Looney Tunes and all that didn't go anywhere. It just went to Boomerang. It, it, it's it's just that that's where it lives now. But the fact that it's isolated on a totally different platform, it's not going to get discovered. Yeah, by it's action. not accessible. They used to have it like on ABC. It was the Bugs Bunny and Tweety show. Yeah. Like you can, you know. But you know what? If, uh, like. Uh, 
forget about that because guess what? Kids aren't watching the ABC. They're fucking. They're no. they're playing Minecraft and they're on YouTube. Are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. So I don't know what the answer is. I don't know how you would like introduce Looney Tunes to to uh, kids now. Stick, like, you stick I, it I, in I, Minecraft. I guess. You stick it in Minecraft. How do you do that? I have no idea. <laughs> like if you're playing it and then all of a sudden like Bugs Bunny jumps out. You know, yeah, you're like playing you're playing Minecraft and then the, then. It shuts off and it turns on uh, fucking... <laughs> That's how you... You know what? That would work. If the game just shut off the and game turned shut on. off and then it's like... Da, 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 da. Well, th that's probably one way to make people hate Looney Tunes. <laughs> you don't like my idea. <laughs> imagine, imagine you're playing uh, Doom Eternal and then all of a sudden... The fucking, da, 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 da. the fucking game shuts off and it's like a Speedy Gonzalez cartoon. It's just it's like what would the point? It's like there's more important things, but you're gonna. I don't know. Well, I don't fucking know. Like, basically, the yeah. point is, <laughs> it's like, what would you hate more? Like, if if your game shut off in the middle of playing it, or if it shut off and then played something that you didn't know about. <laughs> I mean, my my initial thought was like, you know, in some games, like, there's some games where it's like, you might go up to an arcade machine in a in a game and play another game inside the game. I was kind of thinking more like that. Like, if you're playing Minecraft, maybe you walk up to, like, a television in the game and, like, Bugs Bunny is on the screen or something. But, like, I like the idea better that the whole game just shuts off. The whole game stops. And then it just plays, like, a seven-minute Looney Tunes yeah. cartoon. There's nothing you can do about it. You have to complete the cartoon for, the, for it to go back to Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. You, you would be like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Oh so instead my God, of watching that's... like an ad, you have to watch a cartoon. Yeah, I think you're right though. That would that would make kids hate it. They'd be like, "Where is the game? <laughs> What's wrong? Why is Bugs Bunny on the screen? <laughs> Are you using your special attack at all, like the Y, the Y and B?" I, I don't know. I'm too busy thinking about the Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> it, what made it funnier was the music, like the. <laughs> da, 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 <laughs> it's like because that's usually like the like what you'd hear like you know on the like the final gag like Bugs Bunny yeah. plays a joke or something. But it's like the real joke is is on the player. No, <laughs> that's in the beginning. Like in the beginning of the cartoons, it's, they play. That. It's in the be yeah yeah it's in the beginning, but but it's in the end too, isn't it? Uh, sometimes. Like usually, like when the iris closes at the end, don't they play that? Like sometimes. It's you. It's mostly in the beginning. Um, like there's certain cartoons where it's like bitty 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 that's all folks, but yeah. they didn't all end that that way. I mean, e either way, it has that like kind of like really like obnoxious, <laughs> like like a little bit. Like I never thought of it as obnoxious before, it's but obnoxious. now I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking of it like if you were to play it in that context, <laughs> like if if you weren't. It makes it okay, more like, obnoxious like, if your fucking game shuts off. <laughs> exactly. Like like okay, so here. Cause, yeah, it's like insult to injury. That's why it's so funny. Because, all right, let's say you start a Looney Tunes cartoon right now, and that starts up. You're expecting to hear it. If you if you're not expecting to hear that, right and right when something goes wrong, and then and then you hear that on top of it, it it's like. <laughs> what what if you, like I'm trying to think of like the the games that you're playing. What if you're like playing like Street Fighter 2010, and you're like on the last like fucking boss, and you like. You've been like trying like really hard to fucking beat the game. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? What? What just happened? And then like you're on the final boss and all of a sudden the fucking screen goes black and then it's da 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 It's also funny because how the hell would that happen? How would that happen? <laughs> I think it's one thing that's like off a DVD and the other thing's like a fucking NES game. It doesn't even make sense. You're playing... You're, you're playing like... Like you don't even mean like an 8-bit Looney Tunes. Yeah, no, it's like it's the real fucking car. Like Blu-ray quality. <laughs>
<laughs> you mean all of a sudden? <laughs> You're going insane because you're like, how the fuck? How the fuck is like Foghorn Leghorn? <laughs> I say, son. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you know, it's oh. like Pepe Le Pew. Right. Okay, I'll take a breath. And I'm, I'll be ready. Oh my god, yeah, I'm trying not to laugh. I should just fucking laugh and get it over with. <laughs> just get it all out. I think it's all out, but I don't know. Oh, 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 boy. It would make more sense if it was like... See, it makes more sense if it's Minecraft, because Minecraft, is, you play it on PC. So you could play, like, like, a Looney Tunes cartoon, like, on a PC. Yeah. Like, that that actually makes more sense. If it's, like, an NES game or something, that makes no sense whatsoever. If it happened yeah, on an <laughs> NES game, that there would be something fucking wrong. <laughs> Well, it all started, like, how to introduce people to Looney Tunes. Yeah. Wow. Well, that is the most extreme way, but that's... <laughs> Just shut the fucking thing off and play it. Like, what do, what, do your, what do your, like, daughters, like, really like as far as, like, entertainment? Like, is there a show that they like? Yeah, well, they're, they're obsessed with the new Muppet Babies. They always have been, like, since it started. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, it's a good show. You know, it's it's a really good reboot of Muppet Babies. But... So how pissed do you think they would be if all of a sudden the Muppet Baby show turned off and then it turned on a fucking, like, Bugs Bunny short? <laughs> I've probably even done that, to be honest. I've, like, they, they're they probably watching the same thing for so long. I'm like, all right, here, I want to show you a Foghorn Leghorn. No! You know, that's how it would go. Um, so, yeah, I, I've, um, you know, showed them, like, Here's an episode of Jetsons or something like that. Like here, I just want to because otherwise, who the hell is ever going to see it again? Right. Uh, but what was the question again? I... Um, I was just asking what you you answered. Oh yeah, you yeah. Them up if that would have just happened like in the middle of the show. I was I was asking you. Do you think yeah. that they would be pissed if all of a sudden yeah. the Muppet Babies <laughs> got turned off and it was and it was like fucking Pepe Le Pew or something? Yeah, yeah. No, they would both flip out. Yeah. See? If it, if it like randomly just switched like that without me even touching anything, yeah, that would be like it would be, it would be like con a mixture of confusion and, and frustration like how did this just happen? So our so our like uh, our idea of how to get people into Looney Tunes is a really bad idea. Yeah, I think it's a horrible idea. <laughs> it's one way to make them hate it. Like we already established that they're not watching like ABC as much, you know. Yeah, um, no. They're In also fact, not they're looking definitely at newspapers. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, my kids that will watch, okay, Disney Channel, uh, Nickelodeon. Um, there's also, uh, it, was all, it was it was known as Sprout, but they changed it to Universal Kids. Yeah. Um, so there's like a few TV channels they watch. I don't know, like, if you, were gonna, if you were to play Looney Tunes, I think it would either have to come on one of those channels, but even better, it would need to come on, like, some kind of... Uh, some kind of streaming thing, but but there's a so listen so there's not, like a new Looney Tunes cartoon, and there's like a new yeah. Mickey Mouse cartoon, and which I know you've seen that like the new oh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, it's great, yeah. So here's the thing: the animation style these days is totally different. If like 1940s like animation ca comes on, it's so different than how they animate now that I think the the style of it is would just be totally like fucking jarring, and the, and they would feel like it was just so different than everything else that they watch. I, I, I think it probably would be difficult for a kid now to watch, whereas when we were kids like there was so much classic animation on, it's just yeah. like we, we were used to it. It's different. And also the original Muppet Babies, which you can only watch if you have bootlegs because they never officially released it anywhere. <clears throat> it doesn't seem like they ever will. But I've showed them the bootlegs of, of Muppet Babies and was I just about to do like a body slam? Um, Play we, that back. By the way, so that I, I'm was the, the end baby. Of the game. Wow. But anyway, the original Muppet Babies, the bootlegs, they look crappy because they're bootlegs. They're from like VHS tapes from 30 years ago. Yeah. So obviously they're not going to. They, they notice. They'll be like, oh, that looks ugly, you know. So 
Anyway, we've beaten the game. That's Captain Commando. I actually didn't think we were gonna beat this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but we but we did. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That that ending came so quick. I mean, we must have really passed the time fast because, uh, you know, of, of laughing about Looney Tunes. And we, stuff. we didn't we didn't talk about the game for like twenty minutes. Yeah, I know. I, 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 you know what? I forgot about the game so much, and I, I know if you were to watch that footage, because we switch characters so often in it, and a lot of times, you know, you'll play the character that I was just playing as, and vice versa. Yeah. Half the time, I wasn't even paying attention to who I was. So yeah. if you, if you saw me walking in the corner of the screen or like just <laughs> doing nothing, that's because I was really distracted. So <laughs> I right. think that was more fun than you know. Uh, it would have been if we just played it serious. So. Well, listen, that's the point of these type of games. It's it's more about like uh, hanging out with your friends and like having a good time. Uh, like that's what I think beat 'em ups are all about. So. Yeah. All right, now we'll just leave you with. Dun, 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 dun,